Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for June 2020 and welcome back I hope you have enjoyed the weeklies they were great I've got a new deck and you most probably have heard there will be a competition coming uh, within the next couple of weeks and you can win a deck of the um, Shadow Land Tarot compliments from the publishers by Monica Bodersky. You also get a big beautiful book with it and it takes you right from A to Z and it's very easy and nice to read and the pictures are colorful. Go and have a look at the review. It is at the end of the video so just click on the video review of the uh, Shadowland Tarot and it w you can see all the cards they're so beautiful funny and um, they're so quirky there's also going to be this deck because I had to wait for my Shadowlands for so long because of the coronavirus and I wanted to do something nice in the uh, in the tea room and interact with my beautiful cyber angels I just wanted to give away one of my decks because I've got lots of them anyway um, and also and then my my deck came and then the publisher says well there's another one on the way so um, you can give that away um, to one of your beautiful viewers just go and do something invent something so I have <laughs> and you um, whilst I'm talking to you um, you have the purple angel feather and I'm just looking up in the book where I can find them so I'm using the Shadowland uh, tarot and I'm also using the um, what you call it the enchanted dream tarot I think they're beautiful and I'm using the romance cards and I'm using the angel feather like I just said okay purple you've got the purple one so it's a spiritual color anyway okay let's get started now if you are a new um, viewer welcome to the channel and <coughs> I hope you will subscribe and hit that bell then you'll be notified when new things are going to happen and I will also keep you up to date um, about the website in the community tab so keep that in uh, keep an eye on the community tab and also on the website okay um, so that you uh, once you if you want to join in the competition then you must be a member okay as simple as that you can find information below the video and just in the right hand corner there there will be a white little circle and that will take you to the website it's as easy as that so go and have a look at your weeklies and uh, have a look at the reviews I've got a couple of reviews you're beginning the first week in June you're beginning with the ten of Pentacles new beginnings endings perhaps the ending of being stuck at home and you can go back to work and get earn money again Wow 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 great stuff and you've got the card of justice justice so if you are in judicial situation and you're filing a claim you will get money okay besides that the justice card also represents Libra Scorpio as this is your reading for June 2020 so Scorpio if you are in judicial issue situation then justice will be done you'll get what you deserve and the other Now since it is in a romance reading you might be going through uh, you might be going through uh, a divorce so you are getting your justice and you are getting your money finally you can start with this new beginning in June I know time is man-made so don't blame me 
if it doesn't happen in the first week but it is I think it will happen before the summer you've got the high priestess and the high priestess she uh, l should listen to her intuition okay and the high priestess is a number two so a high priestess could be an Aquarius okay the high priestess the high, high priest is a Taurus but the high priestess she is a uh, number two so I think she might be um, representing um, uh, Aquarius okay you can always check it out I'm only human and I'm only the messenger but look at the book she's got a great big fat book that could that's the book of wisdom the book of life this could also be a judicial book okay she doesn't she doesn't judge everybody but she can help everybody with her wisdom she will only help you when you ask and when it's required otherwise she plays her cards close to her chest and she's very spiritual she represents the uh, the moon goddess no it's not Aquarius I'm wrong it's Pisces she represents the moon goddess so she also you could be meeting a Pi Pisces and if you are in a judicial situation um, then uh, it might be um, getting divorced from a Pisces or a Libra or they could be the helping person okay you could meet after your divorce you might have met a Libra or a Pisces look at that you've got the two of cups you are soulmates you've met your soulmate now let's see who else we've got we've got Capricorn the devil is the Capricorn okay so that's the other person okay the devil is Capricorn so you could be meeting a Capricorn so um, I don't know I've got three people here an unexpected change so if you're divorced and you haven't met anybody or if you're going through a divorce then there might be a Capricorn Libra or a Pisces helping you with with your emotions with and um, listen to your um, spirituality your spiritual side and your your intuition and get those in emotions in control so one of these people might actually be helping you getting balanced but you have a soulmate or you're going to meet a soulmate in June unexpectedly because the tower means an unexpected change something wasn't built on proper foundations wow so perhaps that is why you're getting divorced perhaps somebody had bad habits addictions bad habits a snarly not being a, a real partner being too selfish because the devil is selfish or manipulating boom and that's why you're getting separated or divorced and it came unexpectedly you thought it would last but you've got number 16 so that's a 7 luck is on your side you know better you don't want to stay with somebody that's manipulative or snarly or egotistical or egoistic all right because that is what the devil also is he isn't friendly he we all know he's the negative side and I'm not saying that Capricorn is negative it he just represents unfortunately uh, Capricorn okay you're moving home you're moving home and you're going from rough waters to quieter waters you might be moving home or going on holiday you are going to celebrate and yes I would celebrate if I was separating from the devil because don't you want to be yourself you want to be you don't want to be anybody's backbone or you don't want to be anybody's servant everybody belongs to themselves and to nobody else if you are in a relationship it should be balanced like the scales here give and take and I love this reading for you Scorpio 
there will be celebrations. You've got the Knight of Cups, so there will be an offer, perhaps of a job, perhaps of love. This could come from a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. Again, Pisces. And you've got the Magician. Make sure that you are the Magician, that you are in control. You have all the elements to make it happen, this new beginning. Okay? And, you know, be honest, be clear. Don't make any illusions and don't have illusions. Make sure that it's clear what you want and make it clear to the other person. Stand your ground. Okay. Again, you have the soulmate card. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, a Capricorn could be a soulmate, a Pisces could be a soulmate, or a Libra. Those are the three people in this reading for you. Now, you've got a purple card, and purple to me means spirituality, means in psychic intuition, you shook up feeling, being clear audience, any of these, clairvoyant, okay, very spiritual card, channel divine grace, channel and divine grace is also love, beautiful, and you've got the high priestess here, so learn how to channel divine love, and divine grace listen to your gut feeling the angels acknowledge that you have an intense psychic ability and call upon you for spiritual service and visionary leadership within the world the purple angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of divine grace and spiritual attunement as a light worker, you are a powerful and passionate individual. Subconsciously, you are aware of your dis destined spirit higher purpose. You have a great understanding of visible and invisible realms. The angels call upon you to channel grace to others through prayer, deeds, hands, on or a distant healings. Okay, other symbols of the purple angel feather are also manifestation, integration, integrating into a new village or society or group. Respect, teaching, spiritual, wealth, independence, wealth, and then you can have your independence being alone. Creativity, enlightenment and inspiration to others. You've got several uh, uh, archangels here that you can call upon. The prayer, the angels for prayer is Gabriel and Metatron. Archangel Michael delivering and answering prayers. Also the angel of justice, clarity. He carries the sword for justice and truth and being able to talk in difficult times. Archangel Raphael, Angel of Prayers as well, and the Archangel Sandalfon and Archangel Zadkiel are the angels of delivering and, and answering prayers. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Take care, my sweeties, and stay safe. And be open your heart, keep your heart open to letting your soul mate in, whoever it may be. It could be a Libra, it could be a Pisces, and it could be a Capricorn. Take care, and be blessed, and stay safe. Please share and like. Ciao, ciao. And remember, I go live on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope to see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next video.